Hello everyone, in this Filmora 9 video tutorial, I'll be showing you how to do advanced editing techniques. Once I've imported my files, I can simply drag and drop them into the timeline or press the add to project button. And if it's a different size, go ahead and click on match to media. So now we have our clip inside of our timeline. Let's take a look at some advanced editing features. One, advanced color tuning. Color tuning means color correction, which helps you adjust the color and create high quality videos or images. You can choose from different options or presets and adjust them inside of Filmora. The presets option comes with many templates so you can directly apply them to your video very easily. And on the other hand, you can also go in and manually adjust the colors with the adjust options. One, access advanced color tuning. After we brought in our video to the timeline, all we have to do is go to the color palette button right here and click on advanced color tuning. This is going to load up the advanced color correction menu where we have our adjust panel or we can look at all of the built-in presets to the program. Two, adjust color manually. To adjust things manually, we'll want to go to the adjust panel. The first thing we can adjust is the white balance. This will change the overall temperature of your footage as well as the tint, whether it goes towards green or pink. You can also apply a 3D lookup table, which is like a preset effect from a film that you like. So in this case, you can apply 300 or a Star Wars preset to get that look. Under color, we have options for how bright our exposure is, the general brightness and contrast of our image, and the vibrance and saturation to increase or decrease the amount of color. Under the light option, we have more specific controls where we can adjust only the highlights of our image, only the shadow parts of our image, only the whites, and also we have full control over just the blacks. Under our hue, saturation, and lightness panel, we have access to the hue, saturation, and luminance values for each of these channels here. We have yellow, orange, and some other HSL type colors. So we can go in and adjust those channels individually to change our image here. And under vignette, we have a custom vignette we can apply, whether it's black or a white vignette. We can adjust the size of it, the roundness, whether it's an ellipse or a circle, the amount of feathering, the exposure difference of the inside and outside, and also the highlight amount. Three, preview your changes. When you finish all your adjustments, we can now preview our video. So now that we've decided on some effects we like, we can now save it as a preset. Four, save as preset. If you like your adjustments, you can save it as a preset by clicking on the save as preset button, and then we can simply name it whatever we want. Then click on OK, and you can access that preset later in the presets panel. Two, how to play video in reverse. The first step, of course, is to bring in your footage, which we've already done. We have our footage inside of a timeline clip here. Two, in the timeline, we can simply right click on our video and select speed and duration. Then from here in step three, we can simply click on reverse speed and click on okay to save our changes. Now our clip is going to play in reverse speed. Three, how to apply a pan and zoom effect. Filmora Video Editor supports pan and zoom effects or the Ken Burns effect, which allows you to make your video or image pan from one subject to another and slowly zoom in on those subjects. The first thing to do, of course, is bring in your footage to the timeline like we have, and we need to have two separate clips to transition between, so I'm going to separate this clip and bring it over here. And now that we have two different clips, we're gonna go ahead and click on the crop and zoom button here. This is going to bring up a window where we can now, in step two, go to the pan and zoom section to decide where we're going to start and end our shot. Three, now we just need to drag the start and end frame to the desired size and position. So if I want, I can start here, and then I can use this button to switch to my start, or switch them, and adjust accordingly. Four, how to stabilize videos. Filmora Video Editor comes with a new feature, Video Stabilization. It's a feature designed to improve your video quality, and to stabilize, it's very easy. So of course, to start, we need to one, import something into our media library and bring it into the timeline, which we've already done. Then we want to right click on the area we want to stabilize, and then we can click on Show Properties and go down to the Stabilization tab here. 
so you want to turn on the checkbox and click on Analyze to analyze your clip. Then once the analysis is complete, we can adjust the smoothing level from anywhere from 0 to 100. The lower the value, the less smoothing, obviously. And the higher the value we select, the higher the smoothing is going to be. So once we're happy, we'll click on OK to save those changes, and now our clips will be stabilized to whatever amount we set. Alright everyone, I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure you check out our other tutorials, and we'll see you next time. If you're interested in this video editor, you can download it easily from the website. For more editing tips, please search iSkySoft on Google.